Hello and a warm welcome. Uh, no, that's not me. That's Anthony Riley, also known as Sleeping Warrior on YouTube. Now, many of you will be familiar with Anthony Riley, uh, but some of you may not be. Uh, Anthony Riley uh, likes to claim that he's not actually a flat earther, but uh, he publishes a lot of videos uh, which pretty much defend the idea that the earth is flat and i haven't engaged with uh, anthony for a while uh, but a new video of his uh, popped up on youtube when i was sitting having a cup of tea earlier today and i thought okay well let's see what this is about Okay, so it's clearly another relative density versus gravity um, video that Riley's put out. Uh, now, I've had uh, some run-ins with him over the years on the same sort of subject. Um, going back to this was the first one where uh, I did a little demonstration for him as part of a discussion we had. Um, anyway, uh, whilst this is playing in the background, um, Today's video is on perhaps he's still defending the same idea, although he's refined his arguments a little bit over the over the years, as people like me and AB Science and Blue Marble Science and others have uh, debunked his various claims. Who can forget his egg experiment? Uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll let you hear what Riley says today's video is about. Um. This video is to demonstrate um, relative density disequilibrium causing acceleration, and it's 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 a challenge to anybody on our side, on my side, that denies or rejects this, to debunk the egg test that I did recently, or accept it and let's move forward. Ah yes, who could forget Anthony's hilarious egg test? Um, of course, it's been debunked by many people. Uh, with brains, uh, people like AV Science and Blue Marble Science, uh, as I said earlier. Um, and it's complete nonsense, it's it's not a proper test and it's absolute tosh. Um, he's asking for people on the flat earth side of the argument to debunk his test, uh, which is pretty daft because these people don't even know what shape the earth is and can't understand some simple basic science. So how on earth are they going to debunk his test? Now, as I said, it's already been debunked and demonstrated to be totally absurd uh, by a number of people. Um, so I'm not going to debunk his test in this video. Uh, what I am going to do is to debunk his uh, claim that relative density can explain uh, the way objects behave um, on the Earth or anywhere else for that matter. And pose Anthony a few questions and ask him if he can address a couple of examples that I'll give. So in his video today, Anthony draws heavily on a video or videos by Eric Dubay, in which Eric Dubay um, states that objects fall to Earth not due to gravity, but due to the difference in density between the object and the medium in which that object finds itself. And there are several examples through the video. Now, Anthony's overlaid here, this is a still from the video, he's overlaid some words, in which he says, the thing that decides which way, Bob, and then brackets, the medium. 
Now the Bob he's referring to here is Bob Nodell. It's another still from the video and Bob Nodell is saying but there is still an absolute up and an absolute down Tony and Riley's response is to say all directions are relative to humans Bob that's why my left is your right up and down are relative to us and only us no human no direction it's in the definition of relative directions well I, I don't agree with what Riley is saying in that statement in fact I'm not sure I really understand what he's saying but Bob Nodell clearly at some point has told Anthony that, that there he needs an up and a down and he can't get that from relative density alone so uh, what Riley is saying with the captions in this um, still from his video seems to be that uh, the medium determines the direction uh, that an object moves. And the example we've got on screen, we have a less dense medium above a more dense medium, air above water. Um, and so the, he, the claim seems to be the direction is, is from less dense to more dense. And that um, perhaps can hold when we have uh, a different kinds of media with different densities and it could hold even if we have the same sort of medium a gas or a liquid uh, which is uh, more dense uh, lower down nearer to the earth's surface and less dense higher up uh, which tends to be what happens with with media um, but the argument that he's making here for the direction kind of falls apart uh, if you think about it. And here's a nice little example for you. So here's a little demonstration. I'm holding or about to be holding a small piece of wood. Now essentially the density of the air all around that piece of wood is exactly the same. Can you predict, can Mr. Riley predict, which direction this piece of wood will move when I let go of it? So if I've got Anthony's claim correct, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Anthony, the block of wood should fall towards the more dense air. However, the density of the air all around that block is identical. I defy anybody to measure a density difference in the air around a similar sized object. And I could go to a smaller object and make it even harder for you. So in this particular example, Anthony's determination of direction simply doesn't hold up. And as we allow the video to play on, uh, you can see that the block of wood uh, does not fall downwards on the screen because I've positioned the camera uh, actually at uh, an angle so that the block of wood will fall in a different direction diagonally towards the bottom right hand corner. Anthony had no way of predicting that using his methodology. Now I'm expecting Anthony to cry foul at this point and say that I wouldn't be able to predict which direction this block would fall or if he did a similar test I wouldn't be able to predict the direction that the object would fall. And to which my answer would be of course I wouldn't, and that would be the first thing I would say. The information in the picture does not give me enough information to tell you. Tell me which direction the centre of the Earth is, and I'll be able to tell you which direction the block will fall. Now, you can't ask for the same information. 
your claim is that the only thing you need to know is the relative density of the object and the density of the medium surrounding it. But you don't need, that isn't enough information to tell you which direction the block will fall. You need more information. You also need to know the direction to the Earth. So the, the second problem that Anthony's explanation has is that it does explain things like this still from his video. Uh, please ignore the words, uh, they're just stupid. Uh, this is also from Eric Dubay's video. And the issue here is that we have a duck floating on the water. The dark is not on the surface of the water. The dark is uh, roughly 50% below the surface of the water and roughly 50% above the surface of the water. And this is the next problem that you have to explain. If relative density is the only thing that matters, why does half the duck sink into the water? I made a similar, uh, uh, I made a better example of a similar observation in a video just uh, of several months or possibly a year or so ago. Let's have a look at that. So here is my little demonstration of uh, the duck here. A piece of wood replaces the duck and placing it carefully so as to not trap air underneath the piece of wood. Um, we see that the piece of wood sits roughly 50% below the surface of the water. This can't be explained simply in terms of the relative density of the medium, the water, or the two media, the air and the water, and the piece of wood. The, the density of the piece of wood uh, should be such that it sits on the surface of the water. The water is more dense and I can confirm that with measurements of the weight and, and dimensions of the piece of wood. Now when I place a second piece of wood on top of the first piece of wood, uh, the first piece of wood sinks lower in the water and a third piece of wood, we end up with the first piece of wood completely submerged. And I challenge Anthony to provide an explanation for this in terms purely of the relative density of the pieces of the wood and the media involved, the air and the water. He probably, if he bothers to do this, witter on about equilibrium. But it's not just enough to say that everything needs to reach equilibrium. You need to explain why and what is in equilibrium in the uh, final resting position of the piece of wood. What thing, equilibrium simply means balance. What things are balancing out here, Anthony? I don't think you can explain that. Prove me wrong. So here's another example of the same sort of observation. This is from channel Cody's lab. Uh, great channel, go and have a look at it. Um, but here an anvil is placed in a bath of mercury and likewise it floats, but part of the anvil is um, below the surface of mercury. Mercury is more dense than the, the iron or steel that the anvil is made of. And so it floats, but it floats below the surface. Um, so Anthony has to explain uh, the duck, the piece of wood, the anvil, all demonstrating the same phenomenon in terms purely of relative density. Uh, if he wants to invoke something else, he's free to do so, but then we have to discuss whether that makes any sense or not. He's claiming at the moment relative density is the only thing he needs. Now before I uh, wind up this little video, um, I want to play the, the last little footnote 
um, that Anthony puts um, on the video where he actually comes back and speaks uh, because it contains uh, a couple of quite interesting uh, little additional claims that he's making uh, and then I'll, I'll address those uh, briefly afterwards. So this is Anthony's uh, footnote to his video. And just by way of footnote, the common retort I get from ballers is that density, density is a scalar, not a force. Yes, density alone is a scalar. The density of a human or a water medium is similar, but its relative density to something else is then what gives you the vector. So if you get a human and water, they're very similar in, in, in density. But if you get a human and then some other object that, that you don't know what its density is, you can test it and say relative to the human, it'll, it's more dense or less dense. You don't even have to calculate it. Watch for them just claiming that density being a scalar and that's not sufficient. It's relative to another medium and that relativity creates the direction and the magnitude and it's calculable, it's repeatable, observable, verifiable and it's scientific. Science does not deal with the supernatural. Gravity, if it did exist, would be supernatural. So Anthony there says that not only uh, does the relative density determine the direction, but it also determines the, the magnitude of the uh, movement. Um, and that it's calculable. And this is one of the other complaints that I've had about his relative density argument all along, is that he, he, no calculation of the rate of movement of objects through a medium can, can be determined using this, uh, this argument or this explanation, pseudo explanation. If indeed it is calculable, Anthony, then I would love for you to actually show us your calculations and the formula on which they're based uh, so that we can actually uh, see whether they hold up um, to what we observe and uh, we ought to be able to make predictions and test them and so on and actually do some real science. So that's really all I wanted to say and I think this video has gone on quite uh, long enough three little challenges for Anthony, three things to explain. If he if he looks at my um, other video uh, published fairly recently uh, about how a the water in a builder's water level uh, actually finds its own level, uh, I'd love to hear his explanation for that uh, as well. Um, but I'll, I'll leave this here and hopefully someone will pass this on to Anthony. Um, I tried to post a comment on his video, but uh, it appears that uh, I'm unable to do that, uh, blocked or whatever. Uh, so hopefully he'll see this video, he'll respond, and maybe we can have a sensible discussion about uh, gravity and density.